everyone and welcome uh, to a new uh, tutorial on Maya this time um, it will be the first part in a, a series which we're uh, going to learn how to model a uh, flashlight uh, well I basically uh, decided to create this uh, object because uh, it's pretty much easy uh, but there are uh, other few uh, little tricks that um, I will apply to this uh, modeling modeling technique 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 yeah all right never mind um, so uh, let's begin uh, first let's open Maya and make sure you are uh, smoothing the wireframe first and as always make sure you opening uh, a new project file for this so I have a background sound. Okay, so that was Skype. My God, too noisy. Okay, um, so we will start by creating a new cylinder, and as always, um, who familiar with uh, my uh, tutorials, um, usually when I uh, start creating something, I'm uh, using those uh, shapes over here, at the polygon tab, and um, basically, um, it wouldn't uh, appear, none of those uh, objects will appear in your work area if you want uh, uncheck something here. So go over, uh, hmm, okay, create polygons primitive, okay, and make sure the, the interactive creation is unchecked just by uh, pressing it, okay. So if I'm pressing it right now, there will be a V sign like here, okay? So that way you know that it's unchecked, and that way if I will just click one of the shape over here, it, uh, uh, the shape that I will choose will appear in this uh, work area. So we created a cylinder and press 5 to give it a solid color. And next thing, uh, try to uh, scale it, okay? like so and maybe uh, stretch it like so also um, from the attribute editor which is this uh, button over here uh, go over the uh, poly cylinder one and add more subdivision axis to it also you can uh, maybe add some more subdivision height and next thing uh, is to remove the cap Okay, there is subdivision caps uh, which are here so this is how it's with them and this is how it's without them now the next thing is to create the actually the tunnel some kind of tunnel that the batteries are uh, inserted in it okay so we are choosing this face and extrude it and I had a little problem in an earlier uh, model I built. I used the extrude so uh, in a different way. So I will undo that and undo the extrude. And I will go over the polygons and mesh and edit mesh and the extrude um, tool. Okay, so I had it uh, 100 divisions, so it's too much and if you want to reset it by default you can click on edit reset default and then click on extrude that will extrude this face um, now tap on one of those cubes catch the middle one uh, drag it and then extrude again and bring it inside the pipe okay so we are creating something like pipe for the batteries to have a place uh, we ain't gonna model the batteries but uh, just for maybe in the future you would like to have uh, batteries inside so uh, you better create it okay so next thing we are going to deal with this space okay so choose the space and we are going to extrude it so first of all uh, pull it like this and then switch to your scale tool and catch the middle uh, cube and stretch it like so 
Okay, so it doesn't have to be that wide. Okay, make it something like this. And then extrude the space and do something that looks something like this. And then we are going to extrude it again. And then we are going to extrude it inside like so. Okay. And then we are going to do this uh, in the opposite direction. Okay, so we are um, first we will create something like a frame here. So we are extruding it again, <clears throat> and we are entering inside. Uh, when I mean inside, is like you will see. Okay. I will extrude it again and all right so now you can see what I did okay uh, if I will switch to x-ray so you will understand okay yeah. and with using the x-ray you can know um, how much you can go deep with this uh, face inside and this is the line so we will Delay on that, on that line, and then we will extrude again. And now, if I will switch the X-ray, you can see that I uh, totally lost myself here. Well, that's not a problem. True, uh, we are going to just scale it inside uh, using the middle cube, and that way we almost done with it. Okay, so shading x-ray and um, now the other thing um, is to create something that will uh, be here okay we'll cover this uh, uh, you know like the house of this lamp that's supposed to be here so let's create another uh, polygon cylinder and it's hiding inside our flashlight so we will bring it up so you can see it and then we will uh, scale it like so okay uh, make sure you are looking here when you stretch it okay like so so you can see that when you are touching the frame of this flashlight and then you can scale it to be that thick okay and just check something okay so I will have more subdivision axes from the attribute editor for this uh, and remove the cap like so. okay so that way we have a nice uh, kind of glass or plastic uh, transfer trans plastic for the flashlight also um, turn off the x-ray and maybe make it bit bigger okay because you don't need to worry the frame of this uh, flashlight head is covering here and everything but uh, we want to create something that looks pretty much realistic so this is why now um, let's create the cover from this side okay so we are going to create another polygon cylinder and then we will bring it down here and as with all the other uh, cylinders added more subdivision axes and then you can bring it scale it like so so make sure you it's uh, almost the same size as this uh, pipe of the like this uh, flashlight handle whatever okay so uh, make it like so and this time you can add some more subdivision caps okay and we are going to use it to give it a big uh, better look so I'm choosing <coughs> first choose uh, one face from this line and shift double click on the, the face next to her okay so it will choose the whole uh, line, okay, 
and also make sure you choose one here but uh, just for a moment remove by uh, control select this space okay and then you see I'm uh, shift selecting uh, double clicking this space okay so that way it will also uh, select this now then you can select this uh, again by clicking by holding down the shift but let me first uh, uh, tell you something uh, usually when you want to choose something and like this okay so you can choose them all as I told you but if I wouldn't remove this uh, face now before I, I double click this one so uh, okay so that right now it didn't done it but uh, most of the time it will also pick all those okay all the lines like here so that's why I did it and also um, if you would like to um, unselect something you just need to hold down the control and select the thing that you don't want to be selected okay so therefore I'm holding now the control and I'm selecting those and then it's removing them you can also use the shift but it's better to use the control that way you know that you are uh, removing them also there is um, another thing if you would like to choose something um, uh, instead of just this you can always uh, select uh, shift select okay whatever you would like but if you want to select um, like uh, together with what with your selection like I'm going to cover all this area but I'm clicking right now I'm holding the control and the shift together so that way um, it won't uh, unselect uh, the others because the, sh the shift is supposed to also uh, the shift has also the ability to unselect something so when you hold down the control and the shift together it's selecting together with your selection okay so uh, it's 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 very useful when you want to select something in the same area okay so that way it's selecting uh, all the things that are inside the mark okay and uh, it's keeping the selecting item as selected okay 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 I hope it, that wasn't that difficult to understand now let's keep on and we are going to bring this up a little bit and then we will select this line and we are going to make it higher like so and the next thing is to go over here down here and <clears throat> right click on this and choose one of the edges okay doesn't matter which one select this edge and uh, hold down the control right click on it and you can see that there is edge to ring here edge to ring utilities okay so uh, drag your mouse while the right click uh, right uh, button is clicked uh, and to edge ring and split okay so that way it will give you a nice cut of this shape okay of this edge uh, all along uh, the way now we are going to choose this face shift to double click this face and we are going to extrude it down so that way we have some uh, merging point like look alike for this cover okay that way so that's nice all right so <coughs> <coughs> now we are going to the fun part of this tutorial uh, and it's actually to create uh, the all more detail we are going to put more detailing for this flashlight so uh, I hope you have patience for it um, first of all uh, we are going to create a sphere okay so the sphere is here and we are uh, revealing it by moving it from uh, inside the pipe of this uh, flashlight now right click on it choose face and Make sure you are, uh, your 
view is straight uh, in front of this sphere so you will select just half cut of this sphere okay um, and then delete it okay just press delete when you sure that you selected only half of it and the next thing is to tap on F8 to bring it to object mode and squish it with your scale tool. That way we are creating something that looks like a button. Okay, this will be a pressing button in order to uh, like, <coughs> uh, you know, turning the flashlight on and off. Okay, so um, I made a mistake. I need another line here, so I will undo uh, two of my okay so choose only uh, those faces okay and choose faces so choose those and delete them now I will choose this face and this face no you know what like before squish it and then choose only the line uh, here so sorry once one face shift double click on this face and click on the extrude uh, pull it outside like so okay and then click extrude and pull it a bit more okay and then choose this face from the upper side and this one and then bring it a bit outside okay so that way we are we created something that looks like a button and now we can maybe uh, scale it a bit up just up so it will be more obvious that it looks like a button now is the fun part we are going to be introduced to a new uh, tool so uh, first of all turn this uh, button uh, that way okay so if you want to make sure it's 90 degrees um, go over your uh, channel box and make sure that uh, this axis you just uh, rotate uh, it's for me it's rotate x so I will uh, just type in minus 90 degrees and I will bring it here to this flashlight and you have only one real problem with this um, first of all first of all uh, make a copy of this so control D to make a copy okay don't copy it all right so copy it no don't copy it no we don't need to copy it first of all catch this uh, button make sure it's uh, close as much as you can and even give it make sure it's touching the the flashlight body but you can see what's the problem here we need to like stretch those uh, areas the sides area of this button in order to make sure it's touching the flashlight so we are going to be introduced right now to a new uh, tool um, maybe some of you know this tool but um, Either way, let's uh, let's see. First, uh, switch in switch into animation tab, okay, here, and go over create deformers, okay, and then you will get this lattice over here. So there is this box, little box here. Click on it, and by default, if I will reset, you will get two division on five and two. So this is x y and z so 2 for the x 5 for the y and 2 for the z the z is the path but we don't need uh, 2 we need a bit more so make sure you heading like 2 more for the x and the z and basically uh, choose to create okay now uh, when you choose to create it's uh, creating something around our button okay because we selected the button and then choose to create this lattice and actually what this uh, nice 
thing around this button is uh, it's like a new controller uh, for this button that will make him uh, more flexible now it's making it will make this uh, button very flexible so I will show you uh, how to do this uh, right uh, right click on this uh, lattice and choose lattice point and then we will choose this section of the vertices the points lattice points okay vertices actually and shift select those now if we will uh, use the scale okay we will switch to the scale tool and do something crazy like this you can see what it's doing uh, it's like squishing our uh, button but it's more like a flexible item uh, can become to be okay so uh, this is what really it's all about uh, so now when I chose um, those uh, areas I will choose also those areas and those uh, lattice points okay and basically I will choose uh, everything except the middle one okay so that way if I will uh, choose my move tool and pull them inside that way I can control on how to bring this button to be um, like covering in much more smoother way the in the same shape of the handle for this flashlight so at first we were closing a bit we are getting close into the our, our body of this flashlight and then we will choose those vertices only okay those and those because those are the really the parts that we should uh, fix in the problem but so I'm moving them there and still it doesn't pretty much good so I will choose all of those and all of those and then I will bring them in so that way you can see we get something that looks much more better than uh, playing with the vertices of the uh, button itself okay and when we think we're done with this uh, which I think we do we did so uh, let's uh, unselect that by clicking the background and maybe tap the F8 key and as you see it's it brought back to object mode but um, the truth is it's supposed to stay here but what if we don't want to, s to leave it the lattice here so you can choose uh, the object inside and you can uh, copy it okay control D and copy it and move it a bit outside and then I will show you why we copy it instead of just deleting the lattice now if I will choose the lattice itself and uh, choose to delete it uh, the shape will uh, brought back to its um, original uh, shape Okay, it will. It wouldn't be like this one right now. Okay, so this is why we done this. Now, um, I want the lattice back, and the truth is, I need to uh, create two copies right now. So, uh, no, sorry, I will choose uh, again. No, oh, Control D. Okay, to copy it and then I will uh, delete the lattice and the button itself and we'll bring back the button over here all right so now we are going to take all this flashlight together with the button and first of all you know what no um, first of all leave the the button itself where it where it is and choose only uh, the flashlight parts together with everything except the buttons and move it a little bit outside okay from the grid itself 
and then move create a copy control D this and move the copy down here now when it's down here <clears throat> we are going to uh, make sure that uh, the blue arrow of our uh, move tool is somewhere like at the same level as the grid okay it's cutting the grid is cutting the arrow to the half point so that's okay now um, we want to adjust the pivot for this uh, button so what we how we can do this we can press uh, insert button on your keyboard for Windows users and home for uh, Mac users so uh, if you will tap on the insert or the home you will get something that looks like this just without the arrows okay so you can uh, use your mouse in order to uh, bring it to the center of our axis okay in the grid so I will move my camera view a bit to see that if it's really on the, in the center okay and you see the the green one is uh, quite okay but I don't really know how to make sure I'm trying my best to bring the camera so it will be placed uh, straight okay so I think that's okay now I will click on the home button again in order to get my arrows back so this is how you adjust the pivot for this object you can do this for any object and how what we are going to do with it right now okay so from earlier test um, I decided that um, six uh, we, I will need to copy this uh, button six times okay around my uh, flashlight handle okay so how how does it happen we are going to uh, go over edit duplicate special and click this little box over here and then you will get this box okay so um, now um, I will reset it okay and if we will uh, want to copy make six copies of this uh, in a 360 degrees circle okay so we will need to uh, divide the 360 degrees into six pieces okay that means that we will have 16 uh, degrees in between each of those pieces so um, we can calculate this okay calculator and just take 360 and divide it by 6 it will give you the result of uh, 16 60 okay so now we are going to input this those parameters into this box so we want six copies six pieces so it stands for copies and we want to um, we want the, the distance in between each one of them to be 60 degrees so you are supposed to write 60 degrees on the Y uh, box okay so for the translate this is X Y and Z and also for the rotate X Y and Z and uh, you can remember this by looking in, at your upper frame of uh, Maya you can see there are three boxes over here X Y and Z okay so this is how you will remember this and after you've done so uh, make sure you just click on duplicate special and it will create uh, six pieces of this uh, button okay now uh, there is another hiding piece here so we, you can choose it and move it aside just to look at it and okay you can delete it now what would you like to do from here is actually move 
those two buttons aside and bring the flashlight back here okay and that way um, you should uh, use your top view okay so we are going to change to four view which is this icon or just by uh, pressing tapping the spacebar and go switch to top view put your mouse cursor over this window and tap on the spacebar and then uh, you can see when the arrows like the red arrow is touching is above is like covering this um, black line okay and if the yellow is covering uh, this well it's turning to blue but whatever so you can see it's in the middle pretty much in the middle uh, so we can zoom in in order to check this and maybe fixing okay so now it's almost there but that's enough um, tap on the spacebar and switch to the perspective view by putting your uh, uh, mouse cursor over here and tapping the spacebar again sorry for the loud uh, pressing and now we are going to choose uh, by shift selecting each one of those pieces here okay and we are going to switch to here to polygons mesh combine them okay all the pieces are together combined and make sure you go over modify and center the pivot for them okay so that way uh, now we can bring those buttons here and if we will duplicate them we will bring them up and we will use the rotate tool in order to bring them the next line of that of those buttons inside in between those okay so try to do a clean work here all right now <clears throat> all right so now we are going to choose only those two circles um, if you would like to unselect the flashlight hold down the control and choose it and then we are going to duplicate this and bring it up okay and again and again all right so now we have a nice handle for this flashlight and if you would like uh, suggest maybe adjust those things uh, don't trust on them just adjust them uh, catch the flashlight itself the flashlight head right click on it and choose all the vertices from the upper side of it and stretch them a bit like so okay so that way it will be uh, look better and now we are going to uh, we need to make one of those buttons to look pretty much uh, different from the other ones so um, I'm thinking of it but let's say we will uh, stop here and we will we'll call it the part one for this um, tutorial and we will continue at the other one and then I also decide how to create the button okay um, okay so I hope that this was easy for you um, I think this flashlight is look uh, looks very good okay so um, okay so that's it uh, we'll see you soon at the next tutorial where we will continue this okay so have a nice day I will save it so that way I won't lose it okay so flashlight and okay so bye for now